Hi, welcome to Edubay Dynamic Solutions, today I will be teaching you the operating system. Special software, known as operating systems, OS, have been developed to enable computer systems to function and allow users to communicate with computer systems. Operating systems offer various types of user interfaces. There are four different types. 1. Command Line Interface, CLI. 2. Graphical User Interface, GUI. 3. Dialog-Based User Interface. 4. Gesture-Based User Interface. Let's look at the first type of user interface is. Command Line Interface, CLI It requires a user to type in instructions to choose options from the menu. It is usually used by programmers, analysts, or technicians who want direct communication with a computer or to develop new software. Here are the advantages of command line interface, CLI. 1. The user is in direct communication with the computer. 2. It is possible to alter computer configuration. 3. Users are not restricted to several predetermined options. Here are the disadvantages of command line interface, CLI. 1. The user needs to learn commands. 2. All commands are to be typed in. 3. Commands must be in the correct format. The second type of user interface is Graphical User Interface, GUI It allows the user to interact with a computer using pictures or icons symbols. It uses various technologies such as WIMP, Windows Icon Menu and Pointing Device, in which a mouse is used to control the cursor and icons are selected. Here are some advantages of graphical user interface. 1. The user does not need to learn the commands. 2. It is user-friendly. 3. A pointing device is used to click an icon to launch the application. Let's look at the disadvantages of graphical user interface. 1. This type of OS needs more memory. 2. The user is limited to icons provided on the screen. 3. Needs a more complex system such as Windows, to operate, which can be slower to execute commands. The third operating system type of user interface to be considered in this lesson is Dialog-based user interface, uses the human voice to give commands to a computer system. An example of its use is in some luxury modern cars, where voice activation is used to control devices such as in-car entertainment systems or satellite navigation systems. Now let's look at the advantages of a dialogue-based user interface. 1. There is no need for a driver to take their hands off the steering wheel. 2. In a home, beneficial for people with disabilities, many tasks can be carried out by the spoken word only. Let's consider the disadvantages of a dialogue-based user interface. 1. It is still unreliable, with any commands not being recognized or needing to be repeated several times. Two. It can be complex to set up. The fourth operating system user interface to be considered is 4. Gesture-based interfaces rely on human interaction by the moving of hands, head, or even feet. An example is rotating a finger clockwise near a radio will increase its volume. Here are the advantages of gesture-based interfaces. 1. It replaces mechanical input devices. 2. No physical contact is required. 3. It is a very natural interface for a human operator. And the disadvantages of gesture-based interfaces are 1. It is possible for unintentional movement to be picked up. 2. Only works fairly near to the camera or sensor. 3. It may only accept a limited number of movements. Now that we have covered the essential concepts in this chapter, I will present a few past year questions related to the topic. Feel free to write down these questions and answer them accordingly. If needed, you can pause the video. If you have grasped the material well, you should be able to answer the following questions. Hope you have understood the operating system, let's look at past questions. We also provide online tuition in case you need one. Question 1. Computer operating systems have developed since early computers used command line interfaces, CLI. Many computers now use a graphical user interface, GUI, some of which are capable of using touchscreen technology. Compare and contrast CLI and GUI. Question 2. 
A computer system uses a graphical user interface, GUI. Write down two features of a GUI and for each give a reason why they are needed. Question 3. IT technicians are setting up a new file server for a school. Describe the benefits and drawbacks of using a command line interface, CLI, rather than a graphical user interface, GUI, to set up a new file server. Question 4. Describe the differences between using a graphical user interface, GUI, and a command line interface, CLI. Question 5. 5a. Smartphones use a graphical user interface, GUI. Give three benefits of using a GUI. 5b. Give three characteristics of a smartphone. You can visit our website www.edubay.com to have access to our online courses.